everybody my name is angie moranga you're watching just angie and the voices of the ecclesia uh today is the seventh day of may so happy new month we last saw each other in april so welcome to a new month and it's my birthday month as well so i really really love it um today i have a very special guest um and we're going to be doing a series with her um, she invited me to her assembly, Epic Women Africa Assembly, and I spoke about living out your purpose. But she has Epic stands for empowered, prayerful, influential, <laughs> and Christ-like. Yeah. And so I want us to do each of the Sundays. I want us to tackle one of those. Um, one of one of those. I think. Um, what would you call them? I guess acronyms. Acronyms. Yeah. yeah that describe who you yeah, are. Yeah. So my guest, she's going to introduce herself. I'm sure you know her. She's extremely famous and <laughs> we bless God for all her famousness. If oh, such a word. <laughs> so Karibu Sada, my dear. Thank you so much, Apostle Angie. It's so great to be here um, on Just Angie. I've just been seeing this Ooh. on YouTube, you know. But uh, my name is Joyce Mwandiwai Higa. I love Jesus. I am a gospel music uh, minister. I'm the founder of Epic Women, as you've heard, and I'm also a TV host. And uh, I just, I'm so blessed and I'm grateful. I'm so grateful as well. Yeah. When I was thinking about um, Epic, first of all, thank you so much for inviting me. I thought that it was such a lovely meeting for me. Yeah. And I love that it was Epic Women Africa Assembly. Mm -hmm. I just love that. I love that it was an assembly. Yeah. And of course, I love the acronym. Yes. That, and especially the Christ-like part. Yeah. And that it was unapologetic. But that's the last series we're going to do. Um, but the first thing I thought about um, since it's a Sunday sermon is Jeremiah 1.5. Mm. Uh, because the Bible says that before before he formed us, before we became a formation, that um, Jesus Christ, um, he knew us mm. or God knew us. And so he formed us and he placed us in our mother's womb. And then we came into this world yeah. to fulfill a purpose. So they'll put that scripture up there because you asked me to, I remember, to speak about living, out living purpose. out your purpose. So yeah. that was, and it's such a wide topic and can come from any sort of angle. Um, but then I was thinking the word empowered means when I looked, I was like, wow, it means to add or to to give ability to yeah. someone or something to do something. And I thought exactly. that's such an amazing place to start. Yeah. So when you hear the word empowered or even Epic Africa, what made you want to empower people? I think it was really inspired from looking at the generation that mm. we're living in today and what we look to to actually empower us. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so a good. lot of it is based on our careers, our academics, our accomplishments. Um, but in that mix, you kind of throw aside the word of God and, and, and so faith true. and just the power that living in Christ and living as a daughter of God gives you. So really it was a statement to say my primary source of empowerment should be Jesus, should that be my so faith, powerful. should be the word of God. Um, I think looking around the world, you know, there's, there's this sort of nuanced competition between men and women and all mm -hmm. of this. And, you know, this is a ministry about women. And it was trying to say, you know what, you have your own special place. Take it, own it, be so proud powerful. of it. Um, and it's not about competing with, with another. Ooh. God has carved out a special place for you. And you know, find, find settlement in that as well. And so, whereas people are equipping or empowering themselves by saying, I'm gonna be more aggressive or I'm mm. going to be more, you know, vicious, like don't come for me, don't mess with me. One of the first messages I preached at Epic Women was about a gentle and a quiet spirit, so which is so opposite of what I think the world calls us to be today as women. Um, but that that is true beauty. That is the essence of true beauty. And if you look at some of even my own favorite Bible characters, like I love Abigail. I always say really? she's my girlfriend. <laughs> We're going to have coffee dates when we get to heaven. I love that, babe. Uh, just even just the wisdom that, that she, she had. Used, right. And it got her noticed by David. And eventually he married her he as married well. Her, yeah. um, and so I think it's really just understanding that that empowerment, that there is something that God has put in that us so uh, as children of God. And we don't need to struggle to be like, you yeah. know, the world or whatever expectations the world has called upon us to. Mm. But we have examples that have gone before us of people who've done things in such a different way, that but still so been able to shine so brightly. Wow. 
That is so powerful. Yeah. And that is actually speaking to your generation. And what I love is that God actually raises voices for mm. for 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 a particular generation. Yeah. And when I look at Ephesians it says that he knows that that he's he's the God of ages and ages to come. Mm. So there's this way that he knows what is coming. Yeah? yeah. So he knew that that is exactly what your age was going to need. Right. It was going to need a voice that is saying it's okay to be you. Wow. And you can yes that's what you're telling you're saying it's okay to be you yeah. and that there's a place that it's amazing that I chose Jeremiah 1:5 because we hadn't talked yeah. but there's a place and God has made this announcement because in in Jeremiah he's saying he, he even tells Jeremiah what he's meant to do mm -hmm. like I've appointed you to be a prophet to the nations yes. so in each and every one of us he's try, he's saying I've put something in you. I've called you to be something. I've placed it in you and you don't have to try to be anybody else. Absolutely. You can be who you are. Yeah. And that is very powerful. And you see even with your generation and your age, there's also the added social media. Sure. There's a lot of pressure. And so, you know, sometimes I feel like first it was fake it, fake it till you make, make it. it. Right. <laughs> But now I think you fake it until you forget that you're faking it. <laughs> You forget, it becomes the truth. I'm like, you. are you aware that this is not the truth yeah. or the reality? Because social media has forced us to to paint a picture. Yeah. It's given us pressure. I was saying to um, some, I was speaking to some young people and I was telling them, we, we had the pressure, but we didn't have the visibility. Mm -hmm. We didn't have the platform. So if we had the pressure, we didn't like our clothes. We didn't like all those things, but there was no, nothing to magnify yeah. the problem even further. I didn't have to post it anywhere <laughs> and we're all going through the same thing. But Absolutely. I feel with you, with your generation, um, I don't even know what to believe, what's not to believe. Right. Um, I think, I don't know whether it's everybody who goes through life dissatisfied with who they are at and some I, point. Yeah, I think that's actually part of the challenge too. And, and that's where I think empowerment comes in as well. Mm. Because, you know, I, I think there's this perception that you kind of lose out when you become a Christian. Mm. Such, certainly mm. with my generation, oh, I think yes. there is that you're losing out, you know, by becoming a Christian. You're oh, going to be boring. You can't, now you can't slay. Now you can't, I don't We know how can't fun. Slay. Now We you can't. slay like crazy. I mean, hello. Hello, hello, <laughs> even you, hello. Hey, slaying is part of our portion. I mean, We're going to look good and have fun. Yes. So I, I feel like there's this perception that you lose mm. out when you're becoming a Christian, but that is so far from the truth. That is so If true. If anything, that That is when you are now fully powered because you now know, you know, why God created you. This like he it. gives you a life meaning. meaning and it's beyond cars and houses and boys and girls and, mm. you know, money and all mm. of these things like mm. your life now. You find purpose by finding fulfillment in something that is so much greater than yourself. Yes. And that's where that whole legacy, even building legacy comes in, you know, even as a young person, because sometimes yes. that conversation seems so abstract, like it's for over there, for no, those people over it's, there. But it starts now. Yeah. How do you build legacy? By taking steps now. Otherwise, right. there's going to be no legacy to build. Right. And I really love that. I love that. Yes, that, yes, it feels like it's boring to be a Christian, but that's when you find yourself. I don't understand the, 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 I was to say the peace, mm. the grace, mm. the 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 understanding, the, the understanding of process, understanding that this is a path. Yeah. Um, because that's another thing with your generation. You're in a hurry. I know where you're going. I want to <laughs> slow down. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure. But slow People down. Are in such a hurry. Take your time. Mm -hmm. You can't be me overnight. You yeah. can't. You've got to. This is a whole process. Yeah. But I believe that that salvation things brings a peace, brings an understanding, and then you begin to live out your life fully. Yeah. I love that I, I go to bed peaceful and I wake up peaceful, that I am fulfilled. I feel full because then that's the other thing. You And I don't want to say it's only your generation, but every generation finds things to fill themselves with sure, yeah. apart from God. Mm -hmm. And it's just crazy. I'm always saying, this is the answer. Really, Christ is the answer. <laughs> he it's, really a, is. It's, not a, it's not a joke. He really is. You <laughs> he know? really is. I hope, I'm continuously telling them, I if you've tried everything. About it. it's, I sang a whole song about <laughs> it. It's called Jibu. Jibu. That Jesus is, is the, the answer. answer. He's the solution. There's no other solution. <laughs> so I'm grateful that you're doing that because yeah. also I understand, as I was talking about empowered, because I want to about influence later. Yeah. But it's um it's not something when I when I when I came because we never interacted before a lot, mm -hmm. but I could tell this is not something that you would want to do just off the cuff. I could tell, you know. Yeah. And I was asking God, why do you give people these assignments? <laughs> And why does everyone have an assignment that they don't want to do? Because I used to be afraid of media, <laughs> yeah. of all things. Yeah. And I had no, 
I had I had nothing to no fact supporting why I'm afraid. Mm-hmm. I was just afraid. <laughs> and I just knew I don't want to do it. And I'm not engaging. <laughs> People would call me, radio presenters would call me and had radio now. What, what, there's no even camera. Radio and I'm like, I'm gonna answer from my house. Just a crazy <laughs> fear. So I know that if I know that you love to empower the women, yeah. but then I know that you're an I don't know whether it's whether you're an introvert. Is this something that you would be doing naturally or it is God who has called it out of you? <laughs> I feel like I have a lot of questions for God because somehow yes, I feel yes. like we all do. All you have to th- join the queue. We have <laughs> questions. Eh? All the things I do from media to music. Mm. Um social media and just the influence that comes with it Mm. (laughs) are just so outside and now epic are so outside of Of who you are Mm. yeah i'm definitely a homebody i'm Mm. definitely you know just leave me to my space um but i guess you know god qualifies the called and i think that's that's it needs to be like that because i I can't march into epic like this is this is my thing and i do i mean that would be such a blunder Yes, yes so i think it has to be like that um and that nervousness, even in media, we always say it's good that you that you're you have nervous. that. Yeah. Mm. So just, I, and for me, it's not just you know like because I know I'm going to shine, but it's because I'm leaning on God on to God help me through. To help you through. And it was amazing too when I walked into that room. I was like, wow, wow, Joyce, <laughs> wow. There were a thousand women in yeah, that room. It was, I mean, it's truly epic. First of all, <laughs> truly. <is. laughs> I, I remember epic. just like gasping and just being like, oh my gosh, these are a lot of people. I know. <laughs> and is it, was this the third one? No, this was like the fourth one. The fourth one. Yeah. So have the numbers gone increasing? Yeah, yeah. So this was our first time at Nairobi Cinema. Yes. Um. So even that was a step of faith, you know, trusting that the venue, mm. you know, would, would be filled and many would come. Mm. So um, we started off quite slow, but this was only our second free event. Um. So... We started off just pole pole. Even the way I started it, it was literally on my stories. How I launched Epic was just very <laughs> hilarious. I just wrote it because I'd get a lot of requests for mentorship. Oh, really? A yes, lot, yes. A, a lot, lot of people, a yes. A lot, yeah. My yes, they do. My inbox is flooded with that. So mm. um, I remember just like, I think it was like at 11.45 p.m. at night. I was like, let me just put this out on my stories. And I was like, I'm thinking about meeting a few ladies, you know, for spending an afternoon. If you're interested, email this this address and you'll get some details. And ladies started emailing. Um, and then when they emailed, they were sent some info and like, they don't know what they're coming for because I've never said anything about Epic. There's no, no way in the email is Epic. Mm. Um, and they had to pay something, you know, to, to come to the event mm. and they show up. Um, and that was the launch of Epic Women. <laughs> it was like a soft launch. Uh, but it was just amazing that I think that really showed me that there is a hunger for this. There and there's is. a, there's a, there's a gap that I think many women have experienced and, mm. and feel that they want um, to be part of. And so I think Epic is in a, a unique space because it's a spiritual platform, but in many ways it also draws in a lot of um, social um, currency with it. Mm-hmm. I think really just being able to provide that community because uh, that's what really this is about. This is about saying mm. there are other people who think like I do. Yes. There are other people who are choosing to be unapologetic in mm. their faith mm. and we can be part of that community together and as mm. we build it, we're becoming a movement. We're yeah. becoming an army and yeah. that's why it's an assembly. That's what I love, the assembly. Every, every couple months. I love the assembly and I love that it was unapologetically Christ-like. Yeah. That for me was good because sometimes we like to hide it, you know, and try to draw them in so that's important. I'm glad to hear about the mentorship. I get a lot as well, but usually I'll give them an assignment, like say, you know, you've got to do this, so yeah. um, do this and do this. And usually they they'll they'll then it will they'll fizzle out. Fizzle out, <laughs> yeah. They won't come in. So I'm grateful. Like, yeah, that is actually true. It's actually a mentorship opportunity mm-hmm. on a greater platform. Yeah, because I, I just it wouldn't be sustainable to do it one know, on one, one by one. Yeah. yeah, so that's really important. I love it, and I love that they're empowered. I'm just thinking about the, that empowerment. That 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 first of all, the ability has been given to us by God. So the ability is God given first, and then it's sort of. I think what happens is um, a lot of life happens, and then we forget. We forget that we're empowered. We forget that we have a call. Yeah. We forget that God has given us the ability. He's, he's put on us um, his spirit, his mm-hmm. presence that then drives our ability right. to do things and, and ability word. to, yes, to, to, to engage, you know. 
um, in what we need to do. So I, I really love that. There were, it was a really amazing crowd. You know, they were, they, there was a, there was a stillness. There was a quietness. There's a way that they, they received. I could tell they were taking it all in. Um, and that, that was good. Uh, that was really, it was very encouraging for me. Yeah. So thank, thank you so much for thank that. Thank you for being a part of it. Too. I am so grateful. I am so grateful to have been any part oh, wow. of it. And I know that, um, Epic Woman is going to, Hey, it's going to nations. Exactly. It's going, I feel it's going to go global. It's going to go um, national. It's going to go, I mean, there are also other places that I think that you need to do it at, but mm -hmm. I'm just grateful that the word is empowered. Yeah. And so our challenge to you is do your best to empower yourself, empower yourself. And first understand God has empowered you. And then look for ways to empower yourself. Look for ways to stay with um, like-minded people, people who share your values. Uh, because what I love about Epic Woman Africa is that it it is unapologetically Christian. And then remember the scripture that we shared today, Jeremiah 1.5. You can go and pack it. You can pray it. You can break it down because it's powerful. It's so encouraging for me to know that before I even became a form, before I became any kind of formation, God knew me. And I believe that's where he created purpose. And then he formed my body. Mm -hmm. And then he placed me in my mother's womb. And then he brought me into this world to fulfill a purpose. But I think life comes at us and sort of tries to take away everything that would help us to fulfill that purpose. Yeah. And that's the place we want you to go back to, to know that there's a why behind why God created you yeah. and you're empowered to do it. And also find other people that you can be empowered with. And I guess look out for Joyce, look out on her platforms uh, for when we're going to have the next Epic Woman Africa. Uh, um, have a great Sunday and we'll be back next Sunday to talk about prayer. Bye-bye.